Part 1 of The Budget Tracker We All Need showed a demo and a tutorial on how to build the monthly tab from scratch. In part 2, we will complete the rest of the tracker by continuing from where we left off. So I'm going to show you how to create the budget data tab. Budget data by month. This is very easy and this is what we're going to do here is essentially show a summary of what's happening every month. Categories. I'm going to copy all the categories that were here. All we have to do to fill it up is essentially link it. So we go to this cell, cell C4 equals, we then go to July and click actual for rent. Enter, there you go. And now if we drag it down, as you can see dining out is right there. And essentially we do that for each and every month that we create. At the moment, I've only created one, but if you wanted to create a second one, you just simply duplicate the tab. Let's call this one August. And all we do is just link the August one. Like that. Uh, there are a few changes to do when, when you duplicate a tab. So for example, the starting balance is no longer hard-coded. We just link it to the previous month's ending balance. So you see, now the starting balance is 10,050, not 10,000. And one more thing that we do, I mean, besides change the name, obviously. One more thing we do is the average. The average here was looking only at the actual. So what we have to do is go to the previous month, July, click the actual, comma, and then go to August, and write down our current actual for August. We click enter, we drag down, and there it is. Now this is looking at the average of July and August. And uh, yeah, we do the same for income. Now we're going to do the income table. And then the year to date totals. Okay, and finally we're going to work on the savings table. Then at the bottom, we have the exact same thing as the top, but we just going to do hard coded because I don't have the data. But if you do have the data, just feel free to write down your own numbers. But essentially what I'm going to do is just copy what I did on the top and then just paste it and then add fake numbers. This will allow us to compare data year on year in the summary tab. So I'm going to quickly format this. Okay, so I formatted the budget data tab and now we're going to move to the summary tab. And then all we have to do here is simply link them to the budget data. So for the ending balance for this first one, this specific one, we're going to go to July and click our starting balance. We're going to go back to summary and add the income close brackets and we're going to subtract the expenses. The next balance is simply the ending balance in July, close income 
when it's expenses of August. For the balance percentage growth, we're going to do C17, which is the ending balance. And we're going to divide it by the starting balance of this first one, which was July. And then the second one will be the same, but without the July one. So it's starting balance divided by ending balance of last month minus one. Now that we have these, we can simply drag them across to June and we can drag these two to June. Okay, so I'm gonna create the chart now. So for the next chart, we're going to go to budget data and make the chart with the data from this tab. We will then copy and paste it in the summary tab. Looks like we had an error in the average chart. What we want to do is change the data range from B4 to B5 and it should fix the chart. So yeah, this is it. One more thing that I need to do is write down the transactions amount. And then we can connect the current balance. Now for the year and year analysis, all we have to do is copy the top summary table below. I'll leave some space for the charts. What we do is add a row between each of the existing rows to add the previous year's data by linking to the history of budget data. For the totals history by category table, all we do is copy the tables with categories, create a total section, and then summarize everything per financial year. And that is it. We have created a budget tracker from scratch that allows us to see our monthly and annual budget results with beautiful automated charts. I'll quickly enter a large transaction in August so you can see how everything automatically populates. This is Planet Finance. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, happy learning.